Hey there, Poker fans. Welcome to Let's Play Games West Virginia. I'm Kevin. I'm Heather. And this is Poker Monday. If you're new to the stream, Poker Monday is a stream where every Monday we do the best and brightest of Pokemon Go, and we look over the last week in review. So we had a couple of events this week, one of which we were only able to kind of skim past. Uh, so we've got a little bit of excitement from there. I think I got my bang for the buck for that one. But we weren't able to do the whole event, which is a little bit sad. So say more about that. So this past Saturday was Community Day. Community Day is a monthly event wherein Pokemon trainers gather together for a limited period of time to catch one Pokemon and usually a few others that is specially highlighted for that day. There's usually increased uh, egg hatching rates. There's increased experience. Um, there's lots and lots of whatever that Pokemon is, so it's a good time to get uh, get candies for that. Additionally, there's a special move for the period, of which I didn't get this one, and also usually increased shiny rates. And this Saturday, it was Trico that nobody asked for, but that's what we got. Nobody asked for Trico. Of course, nobody really asked for uh, the... the Swinub. Swinub. I was thinking Totodile, but... Mm. So <laughs> that's not a new theme, apparently. At least Totodile gave us like a fun pun for the stream. Yeah, it did give us a fun pun. It was it was punny. Um, yeah, I think most of the community days, other than maybe Larvitar community day, I was definitely like not really psyched for. Although Dratini, um, when it came back in the community day in December or the community weekend, I was pretty excited about that one because I didn't take advantage of that. So uh, it was nice to do uh, and get the, the shiny Dragonite, but most of the other ones I've been sort of ambivalent about. Hmm. Uh, we have some very uh, little footage from Community Day later on in the stream. Uh, we had the opportunity for shinies. Both of us were otherwise busy with other hobbies. I was in a strongman contest, so I was lifting heavy stuff and attempted to catch some, but with the five minutes that I had to open my app, uh, nothing showed up except a Colby and a Snubble. So I was out in the middle of nowhere, didn't get any spawns. I was competing in a pistol match, and I did have about five minutes, and I did find shinies during that five minutes. So. Luck of the draw. We'll see some of those other in the week. What else interesting happened last week? Uh, we have a lot of stuff that's been happening. Um, so as most of you, I hope, have familiarized yourself, we have definitely had Dialga raids for uh, long enough. I think so anyway. We've had it for most all of March since the 1st. So it will be uh, going out of raid battles on the 28th, which I believe is this Thursday, if I can count my numbers right. Um, so if you have not yet gotten that, it would be a good time to find a group of people and go out and get your Dialga. I actually uh, went out and finished another one today just to make sure that I had gotten a couple spare in case trades need to happen later. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty much done with that. I got a 98% Dialga, so, um, was that a head shake? It was a... Did you just scoff at me? Yeah, because you're just hum humble bragging about your 98%. I'm not Dialga. humble bragging, I'm just bragging. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Dialga is going away, and that's old news. We also have some... Other old news, but before we do that, Dialga, as I talked about last week, if you have not gotten one, be sure to use your uh, fighting and ground type counters. So um, do that before it goes out of Raid Battles Thursday, in which we will then trek upon a new adventure. Which is? Which is the return of Giratina. Now, that seems like a weird choice to me as well. Why does it seem like a weird choice? Because it was just a couple months ago that we had Giratina. It was at Halloween. Yeah, I guess it was half a year. Anyway, I wanted someone new. Well, that's the thing. Giratina has two forms, so we are getting both of those this time. Um, uh, 
which means then that for the first weekend until, let's see, the 2nd of April, so from the 28th to the 2nd of April, we are going to be having Dialga in its altered form, which is the form that we got at Halloween of 2018. So if you did not do any of those raids or you were unable to get to those, you do have a weekend to rush and get through those. Um, I don't feel like I need to do that since I've got plenty and not really on the list. What? I, I don't have that one. Yes, you do. From 2018? No. 2018, like this past October. Oh, I was thinking 2017. Yeah, the one that you lo so unlovingly called Giardia yeah. constantly. Well, I only have one of the forms. So. Okay. So, uh, it's pretty exciting that we are going to be getting our alter, sorry, not alter form, our origin form, which is the new one for us. And it sort of looks like a curled up bug that had been in the pool skimmer basket. Hmm. Um, so, we're going to get that pool skimmer basket Pokemon. On uh, the 2nd of April, just making sure I've got my dates right, uh, on the 2nd of April, we will then find the origin form in which uh, it will still have some of the same counters, so that doesn't really change, but it does have a new form, which is super exciting. I believe it will be out for the rest of the month of April, so at least until the 29th, I believe which gives you plenty of time to make it to uh, an origin form raid, if you so need to do that. Uh, one thing that uh, I will remind us about, since it has been since Halloween, if you are out and about and you are of the inclination to make a party ahead of time, I would, one, highly recommend that, but two, would suggest that you find some of your dragon-type counters to get ready for that. Um, dragon and uh, ghost will be definitely effective. You can always use fairy, ice, and what's the other one? Um, dark type as well. So if you are in need of some counters other than dragons, you can use those, which is pretty extensive. But for the most part, uh, it's going to be easiest if you use dragon. So uh, Rayquaza, if you were able to take part in the weekend or had them from before, Palkia, which we've done, uh, Dialga, which is still there, um, Salamence, Dragonite, even Latias or Latios might be beneficial. Um, let's see what else, dragon-wise. I think that might be most of the dragons that are going to be helpful. Uh, if you need, you can use uh, Mewtwo. That would be your Shadow Ball Mewtwo, of course. Or you can use things like Gengar. If you want Ice type, you would want to use things like Mamoswine. Or um, if you need, you could use uh, what's that Pokemon? Jinx. Sorry, names Who's that just Pokemon? went. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu. <laughs> so I see. I hope the internet lore loves that. Uh, you are attempting to catch a Rayquaza. I am attempting to catch a Rayquaza, so that was some of my leftover footage from uh, when they were still in raids. Uh, so Monday, I believe a last Monday uh, during the day, they had just started to go out of raids. So I was able to get some of those out of the way before they expired. Lasad. So that being said, I did end up trading you a Rayquaza. You did. Thank you. Because... I am married, and part of marriage is compromise, and part of compromise means giving your husband a Rayquaza when he doesn't get to raids. It's actually in the fine print if you if you look at the vows. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I have not been able to do as much Pokemoning for the last probably two weeks as I've wanted to, and so there were just some things that I missed. And mm -hmm. I've been able to play a little bit almost every day, but not, I haven't been in to as many events as I would otherwise like. But we do have an X-Raid coming up, don't we? We do have an X-Raid coming up. So that's going to be uh, the first wave of the new Deoxys form in which it will be defense. Uh, so we've had the other forms. Now we've gotten to defense form that is going to be released as of, I believe, today. Um, 
believe that happened today. What are you doing? I'm being a necklace defense form. Oh, yeah. well, your arms aren't noodly enough. Okay. So the defense form does look like a weird noodle. Um, it has noodle arms that are like spaghetti arms. It kind of looks like something that might have been... If, if Rocketeer had become an animated series, like in a Samurai Jack art style, oh. the Deoxys defense form would be in it somewhere. I guess I could see that. It's underappreciated film that one. It almost looks like it's a slightly smaller Pokemon in like a space suit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's got sort of like the the hunchy head and the big body. Like obviously it's defensive, but it just looks like it's in a space suit. Yeah. So um Hopefully it's as easy to catch as the other Deoxys have been. Uh they've they've been pretty reasonable to catch. Yeah, uh for the most part the rates have not been difficult. And they've um, been short if you have a bunch of people there. Yeah, if you've got any more than like five people, you may not even get through three Pokemon. Um, so that's kind of nice. We, we've we had uh, X-Raids that were one or like one and 10% of its second Pokemon. Yep. So that one is coming up Wednesday. I believe that's the first round of invites for this new form. Uh, so that's kind of exciting. We got to do that last time as well. Um, so I'm hoping that I can remember which counters I put in my party. I know that I had Weevil and Bonnet, both dark type Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty sure I used Smackdown, Tyranitar, and what else? Uh, Shadow Ball Mewtwo, maybe? I can't recall. Anyway, for the defense form, um, counters that will be helpful include Ghost, Dark, and Bug, which is why now I'm recalling it. Uh, a long, long time ago when Deoxys first came out, I had Armaldo in my party, mostly because I just like the Pokemon Armaldo because its name is Armaldo. So um, I put Armaldo, to say it one more time, in my party, uh, which is a good bug counter if you need a bug type or if you have it and you don't have some of the others. Um, Gengar will be helpful but again recall that Gengar cannot really take a punch so um, that's going to go rather quickly for you if you're able to get a charged move off. I don't make parties anymore. Um, I just go in with piles and piles of Groudons and Metagrosses. And... But why? Because mm, I'm lazy, generally. Yeah. But that's the thing. At some point, you're going to be lazy in a raid, and then you won't finish it because you didn't put in the right counters. Yeah. I do switch them out, though. Like, if, if, there's, if it chooses something awful, I try to switch them on the fly if there's enough time. If there's enough time. Which, to be honest, those lobbies are not long enough to switch them out. Hold on. Those lobbies are way too long. Hold on. If you are just using the recommended party and switching it out... In addition to putting on an egg and a star piece, it is not long enough to go through and check the move set and do those things. You have to take a gamble or have already pre-labeled the Pokemon with its move set in its name to know that ahead of time. Otherwise, you're just totally guessing based on canonical type. I usually only switch out one or two, so... Okay. And I also guess based on canonical type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Uh, those things are not always guaranteed. Like today at the Dialga raid, I got a Dialga that has an electric charged move. Hmm. But its type is like steel and dragon. So those are not always super helpful. I'm just saying. Like I've got a heat ran with a bug move. Hot pants. Hot pants. Heat ran. Whatever. Hot pants. So it's good that like Rayquaza was uh, so close to the throwing plane because you were throwing excellent curveballs easier with a pretty large circle. Yeah. Yeah, I um, was kind of hoping that um, I would be able to secure some more uh, Rayquaza before the event ended, and I was able to. Now, granted, I'm not sitting on a stack of them because I did lose out on um, Rayquaza from the first go-around. So this is just the bare minimum for me, but in thinking about Pokemon and um, having max storage, I have a couple hundred legendaries that I cannot part with because 
they're legendaries and I feel like I can't do that because at some point in my life somebody's going to ask to trade and I need to have an extra. So let's be fair, um, like 80% chance that somebody is me. 80% chance it's you or somebody else. And I actually have a trade lined up for Alugia uh, to get another shiny Pokemon, but um, that has not happened yet. So uh, it's great that I have caught extras of everything because now I can fill out my shiny family. My shiny family Pokedex. Mm. You should get one of those like stick figure stickers for families on cars, but of all your shiny Pokemon. Will it have the little shiny decal on it? Yeah, obviously. Okay. Yeah, but like nobody else is going to know what that is. And I have to say, I like automatically think a little bit less of cars that have like families on them. Have you seen the one where it's like a T-Rex eating, eating the stick family? Yeah, I've seen the T-Rex. I've seen like Star Wars. I've seen like Disney family, which that one makes me judge them even harder. Um, I've seen like... Uh, I think it was a unicorn stabbing a person of the family, hmm. which was a new one. I hadn't seen that one before. Is this just repeating the same thing over and over? Uh, I hope not. It kind of looks like it is, because I'm pretty sure I did that one already. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay. We may be having some errors on that footage. Sorry about that. Um, what else is going on, Kevin? Uh, we had an Equinox event. We did have an Equinox event that ended today, which or is ending today. Time zones are hard. Yeah, I didn't end up with a, a shiny from that one. A shiny? Oh, the Soul Rock shiny? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't either. Uh, there were a couple people in my friends list that I could see that they had just caught either the shiny or it was their buddy. Because who doesn't brag with their new fancy Pokemon as their buddy? Me, because I'm ha I'm trying to collect all of the Clam Pearl candies. Yeah, me too. I think I've walked, I just checked earlier today, I've walked like 78 kilometers with my Clam Pearl as my buddy because I need the candies and I'm like nowhere near close. Yeah. Uh, but I do have a trade lined up for Gorbis um, because I ended up with two shiny Huntail in a row, uh, which is kind of the bummer part of it. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, I'm, I am saving up candies so that I can hatch another shiny to see what I get. But I think on the off chance I may end up with two. So hopefully I'll set up a trade like that myself. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't I don't even have one of uh, the other the other couple. You don't have one of either of the evolved forms? I have a Hyundai, but that's it. Oh, okay. You've got a Hyundai. 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 Sure. Yeah, that guy. The one that looks like a deep dwelling monster. Creepy buddy. Um, yeah, this looks okay. Anyway, sorry. Our footage is weird, but um I did not quite do all of the things. Like I didn't upload them in the right order, so it may be a little bit confusing today. Sorry about that. So is there anything else happening for the Equinox event other than a top opportunity for a shiny Soul Rock, which neither of us got? Well, the Equinox event did include also a lot of grass-type Pokemon, so I hope you have seen those around. I've seen Sunkern everywhere, uh, which has been good. I haven't seen Sunkern since basically the summer event, um, but there are also special field researches, not special, but there are field researches that are special to this event in which they have, uh, I think it was just three tasks that were available. One uh, was catch three Bulbasaur or Chikorita in which you got a Venusaur, I believe, as your... Or uh, Turtwig. Reward. Sorry. Is that not true? Turtwig. Okay. So Turtwig was the catch three Bulbasaur or... Chikorita. If you evolved two Pokemon, uh, you got a Tangela. And oh, that's right. If you evolved five grass type Pokemon, like with the two, but five. If you evolved five grass type Pokemon, you got a Venusaur. So. And there uh, are shiny chances for some of those. There are shiny chances. Uh, that's always a possibility for the ones that have released their shinies. I did not find any of those, but um, I did get a 96% IV Venusaur, nice. so that was pretty exciting. Uh, I wondered why it was so hard to catch. I threw like 12 Pokeballs at it. I used like 15 berries and still had 
uh, no luck until I finally was able to land an excellent throw with the berry and I caught that sucker. It was a 96% IV, um, which I'm super happy about because most Bulbasaurs are really bad yeah. on the IV spectrum. So, I, I had one Venusaur for a while, and then I went on like a glut and evolved like five of them because I was I just needed a pack of Venusaurs for something. I don't even remember what it was. But Venusaur was super <laughs> like effective you do. against somebody, so I was like, boom, all the Venusaurs. So I currently, I know that I have sent a couple Venusaur, uh, forgive me, to Pokemon Let's Go, and I now have six uh, Venusaur just hanging out, hmm. two of which are 96%. So uh, that's pretty exciting on the Venusaur front, because again, the Pokemon starters, I find I have trouble getting high IV starters. I don't know why that is. I don't know if they're just not great with the IV rolls, but for me, they've generally been... Uh, 70% or below. Yeah, that's been pretty typical for me as well. Mm -hmm. So, here we're fighting a Dialga. Have you seen the images of Dialga and Palkia without armor? Uh, yeah, it's super creepy. Mm -hmm. um, like, I'm pretty sure, didn't I show you that? Uh, no, yeah, maybe so. It's like Gumby, Gumby versions of them. And yeah, kind of terrifying. they're Gumby versions. Sort of like the... Um, the Simple Guide raid things that you can find on... Uh, on Reddit or the Silf, uh, the Silf League, or sorry, the Silf Road uh, Reddit subreddit page, uh, you could find those easy counter guides, and they're sort of like really terribly drawn cartoon versions of the Pokemon, and uh, these are slightly more terrifying than that. Which, granted, I love those raid guides; they're my favorite. But these Pokemon are creepy. Like Palky has got the weird peppermint shoulders without the peppermint. And has like this big bubbly tummy. Um, I don't know why I called it the tummy. I just did. But such is life. Um, yeah, they're super creepy. If you haven't seen uh, those Pokemon without armor, hop on the inner tubes and, and pipe them. Go get on Reddit and look. They're super weird. Uh, yeah, this one, it just looks like it's got a stick for a head. Is this your legacy Mewtwo? Um, no. no, because anyway. it's got the fighting move. Yeah. That is why it came up in my secondary uh, recommended party. So I had made a party which was basically all Groudons, but those Groudons fell fast and hard. Um, so the recommended party here, of course, using all of my fighting type Pokemans, which meant that my Machamps and my Mewtwo and uh, Hitmonlee were all uh, part of the fairy game. Hmm. That Machoke didn't last very long. Or this Machamp. one didn't last long either. Pretty much in my experience, as of the last two months with all of the Dragon-type Pokemon that we've gotten, um, anything with Draco Meteor is almost a one-shot, unless it's like a super, super maxed-out Pokemon in like, you know, the 3,000 CP range. Um, unless it's that, it's going to be maxed, or it's going to be... TKO'd with a Draco Meteor move. Did you end up with a Ninja Turtle Mon? The shiny I'm Machop sorry. family? No, I didn't. From the, the Battle Showdown, I did not end up with one of those. Just the shiny Mankey that we saw last week. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't either. If you haven't seen the uh, shiny uh, Machop family, it starts out in a solid Kermit the Frog and moves into decidedly Ninja Turtle territory. Definitely Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle with, like, hardcore bodybuilding abs. Ninja Turtle and, the, is it Jax from Mortal Kombat? I don't remember. No, not Jax. They are with forearms. Uh, Mortal Kombat was, like, right on the tip of, like, me being a sentient being. Hmm. So I don't quite remember that. Anyway, in the Venn diagram of those two things, Shiny Machamp. Shiny Machamp looks cool. Uh, so if Goro. you got an extra Thanks, one Jason. Goro. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That was, again, I was a child, and I remember fighting and using, like, playing those games, but I don't ever remember what their names were. Um, I think I had Mortal, Mortal Kombat 2 on the Game Boy, and uh, played that quite a bit. It was awful at it. Did it? It came out on the Sega. It, like, it had a Sega game, right? I think so. Yeah. I played it on the regular, like, two-color Game Boy. I, 
primarily played it on the Sega because that was one of the only consoles that my brother got that he had not yet like claimed as his own. And so I could still freely play it whenever. Hmm. Um, granted, I was young enough that like, I was primarily playing The Lion King and um, Not an easy game. Sonic. Yes, both of those games are hard. Um, but I was also playing Mortal Kombat. Sweet. Sweet. Swing, swing. You're still fighting with this Diago, I see. I am. So, uh, as you can see, it's really, really jumpy. And I have very few golden raspberries. As you can see, that's about four. Which means then that I've got two Pokeballs that will not have a Golden Raz if I can't throw it. And see, I just threw one away. It's like nine defense moves back to back. Right? It's so jumpy and stompy. It's like, just just please stop, man. Look at it. It's just jumping up and down. Absolutely nothing. I don't... Bleh. So just like there's a silver pine nut berry, it would be nice if there was something that was a mixture of a nanap berry and like a Golden Raspberry. See, one thing that I kind of wish they had instituted in Pokemon Go... A Platinum Plantain. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, in Pokemon Let's Go, they have uh, silver berries. They mm -hmm. have, like, regular berries, silver berries, and gold berries. Mm -hmm. uh, which it's sort of like, you know, the next level up that's not gold. Um, I wish they would have done something similar to that with... Uh, all of the berries, they could have the the silver and gold aspects, not just the silver pin app. Uh, that would have been cool. Because then you can have the silver pin app, the silver Raz, or the silver, um, what's that other one? Nanob. Yeah. The banana. Platinum plantain. You heard it here first, Niantic. <laughs> Roll it out. Yeah, they're never going to pay you for that. Ooh, platinum pawpaw. It can be a West Virginia specific one. Ooh, maybe that could be, like, something we make up into a little sticker. A that platinum pawpaw. Paw. That would be a fun sticker. If you're not from our country, you should hop on the Wikipedias. And, and check out it. the pawpaw. It's P-A-W-P-A-W. -A -A it's a native fruit to North America. and tastes paw -paw. kind of like a banana and a berry mixed together. Pawpaw. Say it one more time with me. Pawpaw. <laughs> well, I was supposed to do it. They were... Yeah, you were oh, both. Yeah, I, thought, I thought they were supposed to do it. No. Well, the moment has passed. Uh, this is me collecting 20 um, Pokeballs that I'm not going to use. Papa. And will probably drop, so I don't have 600 Pokeballs. Yes. Pretty much every single time that I have gotten regular Pokeballs from Adventure Sync, I directly go to my items and throw them away. I do not pass go. I just throw them away because I always have too many regular Pokeballs and not enough of the better Pokeballs. I have been uh, running between four and six hundred Pokeballs like nonstop for the last. Oh few no! Months. I kept mine at like two hundred now because I have other items that I want to keep. I had one community day where I ran out of like all of the kinds of balls, and so I'm keeping. You're a, gun shy. Yeah, I'm keeping a yeah a small hoard set up. Where did that come from? This is Deoxys. They come from X raids. Yes, and when did that happen? Last week. It did happen last week. So, as you will see, we talked earlier about the... Hey, look, the I had a party pre-made. What? No way. Yeah. You did I that mean, it right... Wasn't, it wasn't a very good one. And you did that right before the event, didn't no, you? No, I've been hanging on to that since... Uh, oh, whoa. Since they reset all of our parties that morning. Yeah. Yeah, so this is... Uh, you can see how many people is that? 12? 12, 13? Um, and it, it goes really, really fast. Yeah, so uh, Just like your if, if you have more than 14 players, you're pretty much guaranteed to have it down by the 200 second mark. Um, and you can see here we're not even at 260, and we're in the final, like, 15%. So it's just, even with a glass cannon like Gengar and one other Pokemon, I mean, it's it's amazing, amazingly fast with a large group of people. And with the extra raids, you're pretty much guaranteed to have that large group of people if you get in at Egg Hatch. That's true. So you can get you can get screwed really if there's not enough people there for. But the thing about Deoxys is that for the most part, um, people have been able to uh, at least finish it with a trio, sometimes a duo, and occasionally a single player. Hmm. So now, granted, the single player is going to be really tight, and you have to have super effective uh, counters. Otherwise, that's not going to work. But that's where that comes into play. 
So you notice we uh, didn't have your catch footage previously. I moved it to right after mine. So oh, okay. We'll see both of those back to back. Okay, then. With I was trying to mess with the transition in the editing software and it didn't work. So all we're gonna get is like a bam yellow screen and then your stuff. But okay. it was supposed to be like a, a like a crossfade, but it didn't happen. Crossfade. Hey, look. Hey, there's a the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> there it be. And speaking of yellow... On, on, on Kinemaster, there's no, like, clippy thing. Hey, I see you need a transition. Yes, yes, I did need I a transition. I miss clippy. Did it, does anybody else miss clippy? No? I like clippy. I, I didn't use any of its advice, but I did oftentimes, like, poke it and prod it and tra- turn it into a cat. Hmm. Like, that was a lot of fun. That was fun, like, for a week. It was fun for a week, but... It also made me feel like I didn't just have to stare at the blank Microsoft Word page until I thought of something. I could just stare at Clippy. It was instead. also the late 90s. There wasn't much to do, even That's on the true. internet. That's true. I was on the internet, but I was playing MUDs, like Alter Aeon and uh, Raven Mud. I was on the internet, but I was mostly like on rando like web chats hmm. and like on AIM and, uh, like, finding inspirational quotes on the interweb because I was a teenage girl once. Hmm. I've never been a teenage girl. Or a preteen. Girl. Yeah, like... Although I did enjoy quotes from the internet for a while. Yeah, you liked quotes from the internet for a while? Yeah, there was a whole website. I think it still exists. It was called thinkexist.com. And it was oh, yeah! Full of quotes. Yeah, or could, like, like set up quote of the with, day kind of thing. You could set up books with chapters and you could save them. And then yeah, look and at have them again. like an inspirational AF quote right at the beginning of the chapter. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah, except people still do that. This is a Reggie I didn't have. A Reggie! So, uh, if finally, finally, birds and dogs finally? are out of the seven day research. Finally! And there are some Reggies to be had. There are Reggies! Wait, but the birds are not all gone. Are they not? I thought they're... Oh. No, hello. Remember? Oh, yeah, right. Hello. But oh, no. there's other stuff in there that is finally worth catching. <laughs> That's true. Except I've gotten two hoos. <laughs> Bummer. So, that was a new Pokemon for me, helping to clear out that deck entry. You actually traded me a Registeel, which I had had previously. So, yeah. This is some Mankey Panky. Look at those Mankeys! What's going on there? Some, some Mankey Panky. Is what's Panky Mankey? Manky hanky panky. Now, how much of this do you think I recorded? Wait, hanky manky panky. I don't know. Now I'm wondering, did you just sit here for like minutes? Like Maybe. Like letting this go on and Maybe. you didn't stop it? Maybe. Even their tails are going in sync. This is weird. Yeah. Why are you Kevin? Why is the hopip watching? <laughs> He's into it, who knows? So, that was the end of a trade I forgot to record, uh, where I got a Rayquaza. <laughs> where I traded him a Rayquaza in return for, like, oh. a Dratini. Yeah. But hey, check out this little guy. Check out that guy from Community Day. Yep. Uh, so, I was uh, lucky to snag this. This was the first Trico I clicked on, uh, like, around 3 o'clock through Community Day. I don't know if, Dang. like, the app was, like, saving up all of the fact that I hadn't turned all it on. All of the RNG and I was shiny. Like, boom. Have a I Trico. think they look so cute as Trico. It's like one of those little lizard frogs that's from the rainforest. And I ended up catching two, one of which I traded you. Yes, you did. Because I, again, was lifting heavy things and did not have a chance to open the app. Or I did, but only for two minutes, and it was really bad hatch. Did you decide to evolve yours? No. Well, I decided not to evolve it because... Uh, the final form, well, the middle and final form, just look like the um, fur alligator, but as a lizard. Mm-hmm. So um, I decided that it looks super cute as a tree coat, and I'm keeping it that way. Its third stage was, was more interesting than the second stage, but I have not yet evolved it. I, I've left it as a tree coat as well. I might in the future, especially if, you know, now that their shinies are in the wild, I might catch a new one. If I catch another one, then maybe I'll evolve one of them up. Yeah, that's probably the same for me. But I'm not looking to, to evolve it anytime soon. This was uh, the result of another research task that I had turned in. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we did get new March and April tasks. So that's exciting because I was p- quite over the February uh, 
January, February tasks. They were mostly Gen 1 Pokemon, and I was so done. I kind of I thought that was going to be a new Pokemon for me because I can't I can't remember catching it, but maybe I hatched it before or something. I just don't remember. Well, it's the evolution of Electric, mm. so. Manectric, Electric. It's Electric. <laughs> so, here's 20 more Pokeballs that I probably won't need. Oh, is that your adventure sync? Yeah. Gotcha. Both, both of them are. Oh. How did you have two? I think I just forgot to include it in the last video, so I dropped it in here. Oh, okay then. And Thanks for showing us all those regular Pokeballs you got. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I have not been uh, using the trainer battles too much. Same. Uh, but I realized that I need some more Sinnoh Stones that I'm out after I went through that like glut of seven evolutions on the last stream. Yeah, I currently have zero. And yeah, and I also wanted to see what the default like party choice would be, and it turns out it's awful. So um, yeah, because typically you have like a t the types didn't seem to match at all. Mm -hmm. So if you're fighting Blanche, uh, she... the Golden Girl, no, our, our Golden Girl, blue, blue, yeah, person. Golden Girl. Oh, anyway, if you're fighting her, she uh, throws out some water Pokemon, but by default it does not choose Electric type Pokemon. Which would be super effective. So I'm not sure like what metric uh, the like auto team uses for that. Um, I guess it doesn't really feature in the other Pokemon. Maybe it just chooses your best high CP for that level. I but, think so. Uh, yeah, I did not enjoy the auto select, so I probably won't do that for these battles again. But I have not had great luck for Sinnoh Stones with these, um, and I haven't even had luck with regular rewards. Like you're, I've sometimes just gotten Stardust or even nothing on my first bat trainer battle of the day. And you're supposed to, you know, be able to get three uh, rewards. Up to three. Well, up to three has been like zero or one for me. That's still up to three. Just saying. Well, I'm unhappy about it. Well, fine. You can be unhappy about it. So, uh, for the next week, we've got Deoxy's new defense forms to look Yay. forward to. Uh, the Equinox event ends tomorrow, and there are Shinies. Oh, I thought that ended today. Uh, nope, 26th. Nope, tomorrow. Ends tomorrow. Dates are hard. So, ah. unfortunately, we, we missed the Shiny Lunatone drop because the uh, Equinox event switches those out, so we'll probably right. have, have to wait six months for that to happen. Yep. And uh, Super excited about that. Its eyeballs are cool looking. Yeah, so try to grab those if you don't have them yet. Uh, maybe you can trade for a Shiny Trico if you didn't hit one. And That's look true. out for Giratina coming to level 5 raids soon. Also, on the new end of things, we just got the announcement either yesterday or the day before. Again, numbers and days are hard. Uh, starting on the 30th of the month, which is this coming Saturday, we're going to have LOTAD field research uh, opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that is different for this event is that they have um, announced that it is going to be 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time. Nice. So, like, many hours of doing the LOTAD research. Uh, so, if you are interested in that, there is a shiny LOTAD available and a shiny cast form. Now, one thing that's unclear to me is if that shiny is only going to be in the regular form or whether that's also going to show up as different types of weather depending on because if it's raining right cast form shows up as the raindrop um, but cast form is going to be have the possibility of being shiny but if the weather i'm curious over the weekend is sunny and we don't see the regular cast form what's that gonna be so I am waiting to see what cast form is going to look like if I can find a shiny. Um, additionally, there are going to be more weather Pokemon, so more weather boosted type deals. Um, in addition to your field research with the possibility of shiny Loted, which looks pretty cool. Um, the shiny Ludicolo um, looks quite neat, I will say. So if you've been hanging out for the stream for a while, you know that we have a ticker tape at the bottom. There's been some show changes, so I'd like to run through those real quick. On Sunday, we have Going in Blind with Snarf. Snarf. Sure. Mondays, of course, you spend with us here at Poke Mondays. I'm sure you do. Or else you wouldn't be receiving this message. What? Tuesday is Andy versus the World, 
a uh, variety show with Andy, one of his two streams throughout the week. Wednesday, um, the show that I have named Katie Hart Survival Horror, because I don't think it's been named yet, um, but Katie plays Survival Horror Games. And so, Kevin makes stuff up. Yeah. if you, I, mean, I named all these shows randomly, and they stayed for months. Uh, Thursday, we have a new show to the stream, World Builders with Jason. Taking, He's had a couple weeks. Yeah, but it's new to the whole channel. Yeah. Uh, with Jason, where he works through building a tabletop RPG campaign setting. It is a new night, so don't so be fooled. tune in there. Friday, we see Andy again for Bartender's Choice. Saturday's kind of a free-for-all. We're just doing whatever on that day, whoever wants to hop in and stream. And then we hit back to the beginning of the week. Let's so speak. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. This is Let's Play Games West Virginia, a channel of streaming West Virginians where we have something going on every day of the week. I'm Kevin. I'm Heather. And thanks for joining us for Poker Mondays. See you next Monday. Woo!